So now I want to go over one more u substitution integral example. And in this example, we're going to deal with trig functions. So here we have the integral of the cosine of x to the fifth power multiplied by the sine of x dx. And before I get started with this example, I just want to let you know that the cosine of x to the fifth power can also be written in parentheses cosine of x. And then you can put the five exponent on the outside of the parentheses. And this is going to make it easier to see when we have to do our u substitution. Uh, so let's just dig right into this example. Our first step we need to do is we need to pick our u. And our u is going to be the inside of the parentheses. So our u is going to be the cosine of x. Now notice in the rest of the integral, other than our u, we have a sine of x dx. So our derivative of u needs to be equal to the sine of x dx. Um, so let's take our derivative of u. Our du is going to be equal to the derivative of the cosine of x, uh, which is the negative sine of x dx. Now once again, in the rest of our integral, we have a sine of x dx. And in our du, we have a negative sine of x dx. Now they need to be exactly the same, so this can be fixed quite easily. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. And if you multiply negative 1 times the negative sine of x, you get a positive sine of x. So now we have a du equation that is equal to the rest of our integral that is not our u. And I'll put a green box around our u just so it's easier to see when we substitute in our u for our next step. So now I'm going to write the integral in terms of u instead of in terms of x. So instead of the cosine of x to the fifth power, since u is equal to the cosine of x, I'm going to write u to the fifth power. And instead of writing the sine of x dx, since the sine of x is equal to negative 1 du, I'm going to put negative 1 du instead. So now I'm going to take out this negative 1 constant and write it outside of the integral. And we still have our u to the fifth, and we also have a du. And it's unnecessary to multiply anything by 1 because it's just itself, so I'm going to erase this 1 being multiplied out front of the integral. So now this has become a basic integral example. The only thing we need to do is just add 1 to the exponent and divide by the same. Um, so that's what I'm going to do to integrate this. Since we have a u to the fifth in the integral, after we integrate, it's going to become a u to the sixth. And you always need to divide by the same. So I'll divide by 6. And just in case you didn't see, I did pull down the negative sign. That's outside of the integral. So that's why I put the negative sign in front. And of course, we can't forget to add our constant c. Now we need to move on to our last step. We need to write our answer in terms of x. And just in case you forgot from before, our u was equal to the cosine of x. So instead of writing u to the sixth power, I'm going to put the cosine of x to the sixth power. And I can't forget about our 6 in the denominator. And I can't forget our plus c. So now I'm going to simplify this a little further and get rid of the parentheses. So our final answer is going to be negative cosine of x to the sixth power all divided by 6 plus c. And this is our final answer. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.